It's your boy Falmont straight out of Queens, New York. You already know what it is. And when I'm not making that revolutionary music, you're locked on to T7Live.com. You already know what it is. Foul March in the building. This is my big brother. He came all the way from Queens, New York, to rock y'all today. So I want y'all to raise your hands high in the air right now. Give him a warm welcome to my big homie. Melissa, this is T7 Live here with Fallow March. Yes, sir. How you doing? What you been up to? Real good, man. Just been touring really hard because that's what I do in Brazil and Australia and Europe. And I'm back in the States now working on a new record, which is called Let My People Go, which is to awaken the unconscious minds of American citizens about what's going on music-wise and politically. You know, it's for the people in terms of information and vibe and love and things that I think that's missing from the music industry and, you know, artists being giving of themselves to the audience. And it's very informative record in terms of my crazy ass, uh, you know, uh, conspiracy theory mind that I have about things in the world. And so... That's what it's really about. It's a real deep record, but it's a real funky hip hop record as well. So look for Let My People Go. You know, uh, officially we uh, got off of Universal Records. Big up Steve Rifkin for letting me out of that system and moving on to the, to the new situation, which is war. And I'm really excited about that. Like um, it's, it's me empowering myself for the first time in the music industry and it feels real good. The paradigm that we're in right now, which it's a little bit stagnant and records are not really doing well on a commercial level, allows for artists to emerge and, and for, the, for the audience, for the consumer in this recession to really be like, I'm careful about what I spend my money on. So your record and your music has to really stand out. And that pushes the artists. The artists are forced to to push themselves, to stand alone from all the bullshit that's going on. So it's good for the fans. It's good for me. And there's a lot of bullshit out there. Exactly. It's good for me and it's good for the fans as well because, you know, hip hop is supposed to be a culture that pushes itself and raises the barrier each time somebody puts a record out.